Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this frame from iFlight RC. It's the iFlight iX2 V2 2.5 inch frame. You can see here it's kind of like a QAVR style, sort of shrunken down to 2.5 inch size. Uh, the frame itself here is a 3mm bottom plate, 2mm top plate. Uh, it comes with these four uh, M3 st uh, steel standoffs and the space between the top plate and the bottom plate is 20mm. You got a camera mounting plate here on the side. Uh, we believe those are one and a half millimeters each. Uh, the whole thing weighs 90, about 90 grams, as you see here. Uh, motor motor is 125 millimeters, and uh, front to back, side to side is about 90 millimeters. So it's a true X frame. Uh, very, uh, pretty nice frame. Fairly stiff. Although I think you know the carbon is kind of cut weird. If you look at the the way the lines are here should be parallel to the arms, but it's parallel to the main body. So uh, three millimeters, it's uh, not quite as stiff as it probably should be. Although I think that if they had cut it properly, uh, they could have probably reduced the frame down to maybe a two millimeter, or two and a half millimeter and maintain the same strength while reducing the weight. The parts I scavenged from another iFlight RC uh, one of the other ready-to-fly models is uh, the Strider X2, sort of the stretched X version of the 2.5 inch. Actually, only came with 2.4 inch frame, uh, 2.4 inch prop, sorry. And um, that one came with an all-in-one camera. But I stole the uh, motors, the 4-1 ESC, and the flight controller from that model. Uh, the e motors are the iPower 1106 6000 kV motors. Uh, four in one 10 amp BLE SESC, and I'm using an Omnibus F3 flight controller. The video transmitter is an uh, EWRF uh, 20 by 20 micro video transmitter up to 200 milliwatts. I did a review on this one a few days ago. I'll put a card in the corner for that video if you want to check out that particular micro video transmitter, but it, it goes well with this particular camera. You can see here it fits nicely in this little stack on top uh, of the flight controller. There's just enough space here for that and the battery strap. The camera I'm using is the um, FXT T70. You can see here the lens of this particular camera sticks out quite a bit. And I know all those guys out there that are camera protection freaks are going to just cringe and complain about this. And yes, I know this isn't ideal. I don't really care. Um, I, I don't really care if it sticks out or looks ugly. I just uh, thought it would fit in this frame pretty nicely and it gives me a good, good camera angle. And um, I try and not get too much of the props in view or the uh, the frame or the standoffs. If you use a regular, like a Micro Swift camera, the corner uh, of the two top standoffs you do show up in your video, if you guys are wondering. Uh, so I would recommend going to the narrower uh, field of view lens. I think that would be the 2.3 millimeter uh, run cam Micro Swift instead of the 2.1 millimeter, if you guys are curious about that. So as you can see, it's a top-mounted battery style here. Um, I put the battery strap through the top. They did come with these nice battery straps. These are also available in a um, pack of five, I believe, for about $6. I'll put a link in the description for that, too, if you guys are interested in just the battery straps. These are like about 10 millimeters by 130 millimeters. Very good size here for this particular 2.5-inch setup. I was flying this with a 550 GNB 3S battery. Fit perfectly in here on top. And, yeah, it, you could probably run it off the bottom if you want to. There's, there's slots here for a battery strap. But I thought it flew better with the battery on top. I like the way it felt. And it kind of reminds me of the way the uh, BRDM Nemesis X kind of flew with the top mounted battery. A little bit different CG feel, uh, like as I mentioned in that video. I think it turned better uh, in the turns. It handles a little better in the turns. Less throttle management in the turns. It seems to handle the turns better with the top mounted style versus the bottom mounted style. And the other thing I noticed is that I got pretty good flight times on the 550 versus uh, similar 2.5 inch with 11 to 6 motors on the, I think it was like, uh, what was it, the Baby Hawk R, uh, that one with the bottom mounted battery wasn't getting nearly the same amount of flight time as this one uh, using the exact same battery. Same props, the jump in 2540s and everything. So yeah, I think having the top mounted battery does give you a little bit more efficiency maybe because the motors and the flight controller aren't fighting the battery so much in the hard turns. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, I like I like this frame. I like the build here. It's a pretty simple build. Nothing too spectacularly fancy here, but I think it flew pretty well. 
I'll go ahead and I'll roll you some flight footage at this time. If you guys have any questions, let me know about this. I'll put links to all the parts in the description if you're interested, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.